Hello guys, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Yeah, today we are going to design two way switch circuit, all right, using two relays and then start and stop push buttons, all right. Our normal two way switch system or circuit that you have, you normally use these, these two switches, all right, one gun, two way, all right, two one gun, two way for two way switches. But we are not going to use these switches today, all right. So we are going to use two relays, all right, two relays, and then start and stop push buttons, all right, to control a single lamp, okay? So let's get started. So engineers, this is the diagram, all right? Yeah, two-way switch circuit using relays, and then push buttons, right? So over here, we have our line one, line two, okay? The line one consists of stop button one, and then start button one, okay? And then our relay one. The line two consists of stop button two, okay? Start button two, and then relay two. And then this side is the logics, all right? And then this is the, the lamp, okay? So our normal, our normal two-way switch, okay, using, um, normal switch okay this is, this is the switch all right so now as you press on this switch okay the bulb will come on as you press on this the bulb will go off okay these switches are one gun two ways okay one gun two way one gun two way so in case you want to design normal two way switch circuit okay using switches this is what you're going to use all right in my next video you do this okay so now we are looking at using the relay and then push buttons to do the same thing all right yeah this circuit is very very important in automation all right yeah it is not only for bulbs it can be for motor it can be for anything all right where where you don't have switches so let me explain the circuit all right as i told you these are our push buttons okay stop button one then start button one stop button two and then start button two all right so this one like this okay it's for this this line is for switch one okay and then this switch is for this this line okay so now we are using three buttons all right and then this is our release r1 and then r2 okay all right let me explain the circuit so here now we have our stop button one and then start to one this is our r1 okay these are all contact on this release so this is an open contact on R1, close contact on the same R1. Okay, yeah, this is a hold on. Okay, on the R1. All right, this is stop two. Okay, start two, and then R2. This are uh, all contact on this R2. Okay, yeah, this is an is this a hold on contact on this R2. So let me explain the circuit. Okay, let's see something here. You see, we have connected this contact in series. This open contact on R1 is connected in series with, okay, this close contact on R2, all right? So, the same thing also here. This close contact on R1 is connected in series with this open contact on R2, okay? You see here, when the moment we switch on the main breaker, current begin to flow, all right, through the circuit this way, okay? Let's consider here first, all right? We will come to the side. So, as the current reaches here, okay? Because this contact is open, all right? Because this contact is open, okay? The current will stop here. It cannot continue, all right? All right. The same current will also find its way through this closed contact. Because it's a closed contact, it will find its way through here and ends at this side, okay? Yeah. So now, we have the current in two parts. One is here, one is here. So we are coming to on the bulb by pressing on the start button one, okay? So as we press on this start button, all right, current will flow through this closed contact. That is the stop one, okay? Because this, this, this start button is closed, we have pressed on it, current will begin to flow through the relay one, okay, coil to energize it. The moment this relay energizes, this is a hold on contact on this, right? This contact will change their state because they are all contact on this R1. So as this contact closes, okay, current will flow through this close contact through this close contact on the R2 and then the bulb will come on all right okay at that same time when you want to off the bulb 
you press on this stop button the bulb will go off okay so now assuming you press on the start button all right and then the bulb is on okay you can equally use the start button too this one okay to off the bulb why because this side is closed okay this side is closed all right so can you see the moment you press on this start button this will lead to it will energize okay the moment it energizes this contact okay it will open and then the bulb will go off whilst this relay is still on okay while this relay is still energized because the moment you press we, we energize the r this side will open and then the bulb will go off so that is how we control this um this lamp using the start and stop buttons and then the relays okay so i can use this one to to on the bulb okay i can use this one to this switch to up the bulb at the same time i can use this one to on the bulb and then i can use this one okay to off the bulb all right so we are going to connect it do the connections and see how it will behave okay all right so we have as i told you earlier this is our stop one okay start one and then stop two and then start two right okay so here let's bring our cables okay so from line one it will go into stop button okay the input side so this is going to be our line one all right okay yeah so this is our stop button one one and two okay so let's wire it first first this is one So engineers, this is the complete wiring, okay? So we are going to test and see how it will operate, all right? So this is line one and then line two or switch one, okay? Let's use switch one, all right? This side is switch one and then this side, okay, is switch two, all right? So switch one, switch two, okay? Switch one and then switch two. So we are going to on the bulb and see how it will operate, okay? So I'm going to start by pressing on the switch one, the start one button, start one, okay? So I'll press on it. You see that? As I press on it, the bulb is on now, all right? So let's explain why it is on. So as I press, as I press on this button, okay? Okay, on start one, the R1 is energized. So it means that this side is closed, okay? This side is closed and current is flowing through this closed contact, through this R2 closed contact, and then the bulb is on, okay? So, I'm going to press the off button. All right. So I press the off button, and then this R1 is is de-energized. This side is open back. The bulb is off. Okay, it's open. It is open. So the bulb is off. That is why it is off. All right. I'm going to use explain this side too. Okay. I'm going to press on this this side. All right. I am pressing here. So now, what to do is all right. When I press on this start start two button, the start two or the switch two, okay, the bulb is also on again. It is on again. Why? Because as I press on this button, all right, this R two is energized, okay. So as it's energized, all right, this side would close, okay. This contact will close, and then current will flow through this uh, R one contact, which is closed through the R2 contact, which is also now closed, and then the bulb would, will come on, all right? The, yes, so close, close, so we can flow through, and then the bulb will come on. That is why it is on, okay? So now let's off the bulb by pressing on stop two, all right? Okay, so as I press it, okay, this R2 is de-energized, all right? Okay, let's start it again, okay? Let's press on, let's press on the start one. You have pressed on the start one, okay? You can use when you press on this start two, all right. When you press on this start button two, okay. When you press on this, the bulb will go off. Why? Let's see. You see, it is go, it is gone off. All right. Why? Because as I press on the start one, okay, this R one energized. This side closed, okay. This side closed, and the current flow through 
the close contact on the R1 through this close contact on the R2 and then the bulb was on and now when I press on the start button 2 this R2 energized okay the moment it, it, the moment it energized all the contact on the R2 op changes their state they change their state so this R2 open this side the close so when this side opens the bulb is going to go off that is why the bulb is off now okay yeah and now this side is closed okay this side is closed all right but because this side because the r1 is still on see the light you see the red light you see the r1 is still energized okay so it means that this side is open okay so we have open and then closed so the bulb cannot come on okay so if i want the bulb to come on all right now they are all energized you see that they are all energized all right so i have to stop i have to press on any of these stop buttons okay either this or that all right so let me press on let's say stop button one and see you see that as i press on it the bulb is on okay the bulb is on again why when i press on this okay when i press on this button all right the r1 de-energized it went off so as it uh, it went off all the contact on r1 they will go back to their normal state okay so it means that this contact they went back to their normal state so now this will open back it open back this one close back it close back okay now this r2 is closed why because the r2 is still on the relay 2 you can see it here all right it is still on okay so it means that this side is closed all right so as i de-energize the relay one this side became closed okay it went back to its closed position so it can flow through to on the bulb all right okay now the same way the same way let me start let me press on the start button this one okay okay then i press when i press on the stop button this one the bulb will come on again you see that so it means that as the arrow as the r2 okay is de-energized okay as i stop or de-energize the r2 okay as i de-energize the r2 this contact okay this contact they've gone back to their normal state so this one has closed back this one is open back okay and because this r2 is now closed okay the r1 is already closed because it is still energized you can see it from here okay yeah so now we have close close here so it means that the bulb will still come on right so that's how we control um a single lamp using two relays and then start and stop push buttons all right so i can press on this one to go off when i press on this it will go to to come on the same way all right the same as the same as okay when i press let's say they are all off okay when i press on this the bulb will come on when i press on this again it will go off when i off this one the bulb will come on again okay when i go off like this when i press on this and go off the bulb will go off the same way so this is two-way switch system using relays okay relays and then stop and start push buttons all right this circuit is not only uh, applied on this lamp you can use motor anything at all all right so you just have to understand the control logics this one this is the main important thing all right so in case you are you find yourself somewhere and then you have been given a task to design such system okay you should be able to do it all right how to um, operate a particular machine from from different locations okay from different locations all right so please if you are new to this channel and then you want to understand automation i will urge you that you subscribe to this channel all right you just hit on the subscribe button and then you hit on the bell icon you select all to receive all my videos okay and then please share the video to your friends your colleagues your engineering friends and then like the video put down your comment if you don't understand anything let me see it in the comment section okay so i will see you in the next tutorial Thank you.